Good evening and welcome to Victory Park for tonight's pre-season friendly at our old title rivals Chorley as Dave Challoner's county side seek to extend an unbeaten start to the summer against Andy Priester's Magpies. A lot of time and space to pick out lacrosse and he'll be disappointed in the end but yeah getting some joy as you say early on. Quickly with Jennings, sorry, they've got to click on to Crankshaw, appealing for handball, more in hope and expectation, I think. But Rydell presses high up the pitch to win it back, advances down the left. Some tidy feet to find Whitfield, digs a cross out, good punch by Irwin to deny the lingering newbie. Sam Hales with a chance to recycle the ball in. Jennings with a header, it's off the post. Superb. Glancing header by Connor Jennings. Again, swept out to Salem Hales, who again has space to advance into. Cuts inside and back out, but he's kept, kept with well by his man. Crowsdale does win it back. Gets across in, Whitfield's on the edge of the area. Again, looking for that far corner, just as Connor Jennings had done minutes prior. Oh, a, a risky back pass to... Ryan Crowsdale, but Johnson picks up the pieces. Quickly flicks around the corner for Whitfield. And it's dug the ball out, and it's into the back of the net by Ben Whitfield in the most extraordinary of circumstances. Quigley played a delightful ball around the corner for Whitfield, who showed a good turn of pace to reach the ball right on the left byline. And he dug out what is surely a cross. Booming ball, but well defended, well nodded back by the busy Adam Henley. Jennings in space to find Crenshaw popping up on the right this time. Drives that goal and gets the ball towards quickly. But Whitfield's down the rebound with a volley. Blocked on the goal line. Crowsdale following up. Superbly saved, but Scott quickly is there to tap home his first of the summer. Not once, but twice denied. Stockport County by Irwin. Whitfield and Crowsdale forcing the good saves. But ultimately it was Scott Quigley that popped up at the right time. Absolutely. And there he is again to win the flick on to Ryan Rydell and burst into the box. He is there again, gets a header onto it and just over. I must say, Liam, I don't think anyone in the history of football has either been, been beaten to a signing because they, they kept the name secret uh, in a pre-season friendly. Counter coming through, and Crankshaw is onto the free ball by Connor Jennings, but Irwin does enough eventually to parry behind. He's been really good today, Connor Jennings, a real focal point for Stockport County, which is not a role we've seen from him recently. He's not got his reward for it yet, but... County with the corner in from Sam Hales on the county left. The in-swinging corner, clear to Rydell on the opposite flank, and he will swing one in as well. Ops to find Crankshaw on the right-hand side. And it's a delicious finish by Oli Crankshaw. Well, <laughs> we, we spoke about Ben Whitfield's either a stroke of genius or a stroke of luck. You say much the same for Ollie Crankshaw. I think Liam, judging by Crankshaw's somewhat sheepish reaction there, he looks like he's going for Scott Quigley on the far post. Interesting one, it's almost as if the centre backs suddenly thought they were part of a back three again. Ash Palmer being pulled over to the left hand side a little bit, and the massive gap then between Ash and McCall. Oh, it's lovely feet by Conor Jennings, he's been really good tonight. He finds Newby on the right into Crankshaw. Surely hold him up for now, but Newby will recycle, and it's in for the fourth goal for County. Ryan Rydell bursting from that usual left-back position. Connor Jennings with all the brilliant goal, all the brilliant build-up play to the goal on the hour mark. Swept out delightfully for Elliot Newby. Johnson with a lovely touch inside. Minigan. To find Crenshaw. Reverse ball in for Newby. Swept across to Jennings. Oh, and he's just agonisingly close to getting his goal that would be so well deserved tonight.
Joey bursting forward, looking for a consolation, but Yaros hasn't had a lot to do, but when he has tonight, he's done it well. Just a reminder to, to Dave Chandler, to the fans, that he is still an option for County this season. Well, you look at his pedigree, Sam, you know, so much of his career spent around League Two, League One, more than capable of producing at those levels as well. If you can get Connor Jennings back to his best, then, then what an asset he can be to stop yep. County. And Whitfield, meanwhile, will look for County's fifth. A deflected effort on the edge of the area. As our head scout, Jonathan Smith says, I'll just revisit that as Crankshaw bursts into the box. Again, cuts inside, and Johnson's there, and it's a lovely finish. A delightful finish by Cody Johnson. Tucked away low to Matu in his left. Crankshaw again involved. Twisted and turning into the penalty area. Feeds it into the path of youngster Cody Johnson. And it really is a... It looks a simple finish, Liam, but... Precise and low and pass to helpless Irwin. I think it's fair to say Liam probably counts his most complete outing of the summer so far. Yeah, definitely. I think it was a, a workmanlike performance in the first half, getting themselves in front and the second half they've, they've just turned on the style, haven't they? Clipped through the gears so quickly and, and put on a really good display in front of those county fans, scored some lovely goals and yeah, you can just see things starting to shape, uh, take shape now. And it may take even more shape as Rydell. Again, coming on to a, a Jennings cross this time. Offside flag goes up, and that may well be that, and indeed is. And County, the most complete performance of the summer so far. Storm to a 5-0 win at Victory Park.